Hello, this is How To Bob, and in this video I'm going to show you how to change out that old noisy check valve on your sump pump. Now you can hear this one's pretty noisy when it shuts off. So I'm going to get started by disconnecting the check valve at this point right here by taking off the hose clamp. I've got two flexible fittings, one on the top and one on the bottom. So I'll loosen that up and then I'll pull the sump pump out and disconnect the lower pipe. I did the lower pipe because if there's a check valve, I gotta take my screwdriver and I wanna use a bucket and it's gonna make a mess all over. And I just push that up and let the water out. Then I can proceed to disconnect the top clamp, at which time I can gently move back and forth the flexible coupling and remove my check valve. Now my new check valve is gonna go into this area, and this check valve, as you can see, needs to be glued in so I gotta make sure my fit is really good so I'm gonna line it up I'm gonna then take my pipe and cut it to the size that will fit my new check valve now I made sure I had inch and a half on both sides so I'm gonna dry fit you see the o-ring here has to be nice and flat and perpendicular so that I get a good seal so I'm going to dry fit this in before I glue it and make sure that I have the right amount of pipe cut out. It looks like it's very, very tight here. So let me pull down on the sump pump a little bit and it looks like it'll fit here. And then once I push the sump pump back up, it'll be nice and tight, which is what I want. So I think my dry fit's good. I can then take apart all my fittings and I'm going to start with some primer and go around all the fittings. Start here at the top and just work in some primer all the way around each piece of pipe and once I get that done I can go and put my glue back in I'm going to put glue on it next now, I've already got my nut on the bottom pipe I want to make sure that's a, that's in there before I glue it you can see I have it in there first then I'm going to put my piece on next and I want to hold that down for just a moment till it starts to set up. Then I can start to apply the glue on the top piece. And you see I already have the nut installed on the collar for the top. I'm going to push that up on there and hold it into place just until the glue starts to set up. And then I'm going to install my check valve. It has an arrow here pointing up. I want to make sure that I have my check valve going in the correct direction or it won't work at all. So then I install the bottom section. And I'm going to make sure that's nice and parallel, nice and squared up, and tighten it up by hand. Once I get the nut tightened by hand, I can then make sure everything's straight and use my channel locks to tighten it up. doesn't need to be too awful tight. Just a little bit tighter than hand tight would be good. And last but not least, I plug it in, and once the noise stops from all the air that's in there, you can see how quiet it is. And this is how you install a nice, new, quiet check valve on your sump pump. I'm How To Bob. Thanks for watching. 